All right, Tigers class, let's go to attention. How do you guys feel today? Awesome, so let's back. All right, so for our first warm up here, I've got a piece of equipment that I'm gonna be using. If you'd like to use one too, make sure that it's something that you don't mind stepping on, that it's okay to step on, all right? This thing, if I accidentally step on it, it is going to be perfectly fine. So, if you are looking for something, talk to a grown up, see what you could use. If not, just makes you jump extra high, all right? I'm gonna put this on the ground. I'm gonna keep my feet together, and we're gonna jump side to side over the uh, piece of equipment here. So, I'm gonna try and keep my feet close together. It's a little bit bigger, it's okay to jump like this, but since it's nice and small for me here, I'm gonna keep my feet together, jump over one direction, and then jump over the other way, all right? 30 seconds, go! Big jumps each time. So I'm trying to land on both feet. I'm trying to jump on both feet too. If you need to reset, reset. Make sure you keep your balance and you stay nice and safe. Ooh, there we go, I'm gonna reset. Oh man, we only have 10 seconds left. Five seconds. Two, one, and break. Woo! Our next warm up, I'm gonna lay down on my back. Again, if you'd like to keep using the equipment, if it's safe to touch and kind of uh, move a little bit, you can use it too, right? But again, talk to a grown up first. What I'm gonna do, since I've got this focus pad, is I'm gonna do a sit up. When I get to the top, I'm gonna touch it on the ground in front of me. Not slapping, I wanna be gentle with it, but touch it on the ground and sit back and I can touch it right here. Touch it on the ground, touch it on the ground. There we go, all right? Let's do 10 of these. Ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, we're halfway there. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. One more warm up. Let's do some of the push ups we've been doing, okay? We're gonna do again ten of them. Now, I'm gonna continue to use this shield, kind of like a pillow for this one, and I'm gonna do the black belt push ups we've been talking about. Remember, there's two versions. You can either start on the ground like this, push yourself up, and lay back down, or the black belt version, you start up in the air like this. Let yourself down and then back up. So I'm gonna use that, set myself down and push myself back up, okay? Ready? Again, 10 of them total and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I've got two more. Nine and 10. Let's stand back up, come attention. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Let's huddle up and let's talk about our word this module, respect. Awesome guys, now that we're all huddled up here, let's talk about this word. It is one of, if not I think it is, the most important word in karate. You'll oftentimes hear us talk about this with the older kids classes too. We'll say martial arts begins or karate begins and ends with, the answer would be respect, sir. Right, it's why at the beginning of every class, we bow, it's a sign of respect in karate, right? And at the end of every class, we bow. Whenever we come into the school, that very beginning, we bow into the karate school. When we leave at the very end of our trip here, guess what? We bow, right? So karate is beginning and ending with respect. Now, what's respect, you might say? How could we describe it? Well, it's gonna be described as treating people the way we wanna be treated. If I want someone to be nice to me, well, I'm just a, I want to be a kind person, so I'll be nice no matter what, right? But I would be as kind as I can be to them. If I want the people around me to be sharing, then guess what? I'm going to make sure I share too. If someone around me needs help, and I wish they would help me when I need help too, right? I'm going to make sure I lend a hand whenever I can. So again, treating people the way we want to be treated. Now, let's talk about our karate move, the side kick. Standing back up, I'm getting ready to do my kick, and I wanted to kick right towards you there. Well. Right now, you're right in front of me, so if I did a kick towards you, what kick was that? Front kick, right, it's going right in front of me. What if I wanted to do a side kick? Ah, 
Those are kicks that go to my sides, right? If I wanted to kick over there, it's gonna move this closest leg right here. If I wanted to kick that way, this one here. But again, going back to that first question, I wanted to kick you. I gotta make sure I turn my body to the side. So, since I like to kick this leg, I'm gonna put it in front of me. I know, look at that. Oh, my body has turned completely to the side. Then, I'm gonna bring my hands up right towards you and I'm gonna make sure that I'm focusing on you too. That's very important whenever we do our cardio moves. Now, our body has turned to the side. The next step, I need to make sure I bring my chamber up. The next one, I'm gonna kick out. I bring it back and then I set it down. And notice, my body's still pointing to the side. So, ready to stance, leg up, chamber there, kick, reach chamber, and I'll set it down. What about the other leg now? I'm gonna switch, I'm in my other sparring stance, I'm gonna chamber up, I'm gonna kick out, re-chamber, and set it down. One more time, when I say go. Ready, set, go. Chua. Awesome! Now there's one more thing that is super important. When I do a side kick, I need to make sure my toes are pointing to the side, depending on which foot it is, right? But it needs to point to the side. If it points straight up, that's a front kick. Before a side kick, gotta point to the side. So, let's do 30 seconds real quick. As many side kicks as we can. Let me change that. As many sharp side kicks as we can. You ready? All right, I'm ready now. 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Chua. Notice I'm keeping my body pointed to the side, and every time I kick towards you, my toes are also pointing to the side. Chua. I'm gonna try the other foot now. I'm gonna jump switch. Maybe I'll go to my sparring stance for bouncing around a little bit. Chua. Oh, there we go. Maybe I'll turn and kick to the corner. Notice again, my body is not pointed towards it, but to the side. Oh, there we go. Maybe I'm kicking towards you again. Oh, I kick away from you to the wall. Oh, look at that. I'm just switching legs. And break. Let's huddle back up, guys. Let's talk a little bit more about respect. All right, guys. So, respect again, treating people the way we want to be treated. Now, let's talk about or more specific examples of how we show respect to different people in our lives. First one, what about siblings, right? Brothers or sisters. It's a really important one. A lot of us are spending a lot of time around our siblings right now, right? Well, one way that I can show respect to them is by making sure that I use my manners. We talked about that last week, right? I know I'd prefer if my brother used his manners, said please and thank you uh, whenever he's talking to me. I'm gonna make sure I do the same thing. We can also make sure we show respect to our siblings by listening to them, right? I can make sure that I show respect by sharing with them or taking turns with them. All things that I wanna make sure that my brother does to me too, right? So I'm gonna show it to him, of course. What about to our parents? It's a really important one, especially because both of those, they're in our family, right? They're a big team for us. Well, I can show respect to my parents by making sure I follow their rules. I don't know about you guys, but I have specific rules when I come home. Anytime I come home, I have to take my shoes off and I put them in the shoe rack, right? If I follow that rule, that's me showing respect to them. Maybe you have a shoe bin, maybe you have, I just have a special spot to put them, right? If we follow that rule, we're showing respect. Another one is every time I come home, I'm supposed to wash my hands. If I do that, that's me showing respect to them. I'm not supposed to jump on the couch, so if long, as long as I don't jump on the couch, that's a way for me to show respect to them. If every Sunday I'm supposed to clean my room, that's the rule, well, guess what? I'm a martial artist, I'm a karate student, I'm making sure that everything I do is with respect I'm gonna follow that rule, I'm gonna clean my room, right? That's a great way that we can show respect to our parents, just making sure we follow their rules. And finally, making sure we listen and we follow through on what they need us to do, right? If my dad asked me to clean my room, I'm gonna do it, right? The important part is when as well. Am I gonna clean my room next year if he asked me to do it today? No, right? If he asked me to clean my room, I'm gonna do it right now. That's really important, we follow our, uh, the rules, and if they ask us to do something, we have to do it right, uh, Wait, all right, let's get some more side kicks and let's stand back up. So this next drill here, guys, is gonna be 45 seconds, but we're gonna be continuously switching. One leg, then the other, then the other, then the other. You're gonna have to keep facing towards the screen, facing towards me, whatever you're watching me on, okay? But kick with one leg off to the side and then with the other one. We're going side to side with those side kicks, okay? Ready, on your marks, get set and go. I'm gonna look and then kick, look and then kick. And remember, my toes shouldn't point up. If they point up like that, that's a front kick. There we go, getting back to my smart sense. And 
And notice if you want to try and do this too, I'm switching my hands each time. That way, they're pointing over the direction that I need to kick. Chua. Chua. Ha. Chua. Good. Chua. Keep it going, guys. We have 10 more seconds. See how many side kicks you can get in. Ha. 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 Ayah. Three more seconds. And last kick. Break. Whoa. All right, Tigers, let's huddle up one final time and talk about respect, okay? So we've already talked about a couple of different people, right? Our parents, our siblings. But there's a couple more things that are really important for us to show respect to. One of them, the communities we live in, right? We have a community where we live, all the people that live around us. We can make sure that we're keeping that area clean. We have a community at the karate school of a lot of people who come together, right? We can show uh, respect to them by making sure that we're cleaning our hands, making sure uh, we've washed our hands before we come to class, making sure we're wearing our masks when we come into class here too, or making sure that again, we're just respectful of them by calling them by the appropriate titles. Right? There's great ways we can show respect to the community around here. Another one uh, thing that's important is showing respect to objects, to things, right? I can show respect to a book if I'm very careful with it. Hey, that's me showing respect to it. If I'm tearing pages and ripping them and folding in funny ways, that's not being as respectful. What about things like weight masters, right? We use these for kicks and for strikes. That's what they're used for, right? So I'm gonna make sure if I use it the way it's supposed to be used, and show respect to it. Finally, I gotta show respect to ourselves. It's really important, right? I need to show respect to my mind by making sure that I'm always challenging it. I'm trying to learn new things every single day. Show respect to my whole body by making sure I'm eating healthy foods. As tasty as candy is, right? Oh, if I eat Snickers bars and Reese's Pieces and Twix all day long, my stomach's gonna hurt. It's gonna be hard to get through any kind of exercise. I need to exercise to make sure that I can keep my body healthy. All of these things play into us making sure we're respectful to ourselves. Last two super important guys, we've probably been doing a lot recently. Show respect yourself by washing your hands. Right, that's also showing respect to people around you by helping them not get sick, but showing respect to yourself by making sure you stay healthy. And finally, Get enough sleep, guys, right? It's really important. If I don't go to sleep, if I stay up too late, guess what happens the next day? I get kind of cranky, right? Cranky Minoru Kree is no fun. We gotta make sure we're getting to bed. If I know that it's time for me to go to bed, I'm gonna show respect, not only to my parents, because I'm following their rules, but I'm gonna show respect to myself by making sure I get enough sleep. That way I can have the next best day ever, right? So again, respect. Let's stand up, let's bow out of here. Before I bow though, I've got no announcements for you guys. Uh, we're still rocking, having a lot of fun here. So if you'd like to start up some classes in person, we've got inside the school. We've also got classes outside on the patio with our mats set up. So if you're interested in that, please feel uh, free to contact us. Looking forward to, if you haven't already, uh, submit some tip videos from last week, right? You've still got this week to do it. And we've got our next tip testing for the sidekicks and the blue tip next week. So let's come to attention and let's bow out. Class dismissed. Chua!